Hello everyone, and welcome back to Alpha Nutrition. Today, we're addressing a common question about HIV transmission. Can it be spread through kissing? Let's delve into the science and debunk some myths surrounding this topic. Understanding HIV transmission. HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that targets the body's immune system, specifically the CD4 cells. When HIV infects these cells, it replicates and destroys them, weakening the immune system and making an individual more susceptible to opportunistic infections. HIV transmission occurs primarily through blood-to-blood -blood contact, such as sharing needles, having unprotected anal or vaginal intercourse, or receiving contaminated blood transfusions. Kissing and HIV transmission. While kissing can be a pleasurable and intimate way to connect with a partner, it's important to understand the risk of HIV transmission through this act, types of kissing. Kissing can be categorized into different types based on the level of saliva exchange and potential for blood contact. Closed mouth kissing. This type of kissing involves minimal saliva exchange and no visible blood to blood contact. Open mouth kissing. This involves more saliva exchange, but generally, it's still considered a low-risk activity. Deep kissing, French kissing. This type of kissing involves more prolonged and intense contact, potentially increasing the risk of saliva exchange. However, the risk of HIV transmission through deep kissing is still considered very low. Factors affecting HIV transmission through kissing. The risk of HIV transmission through kissing is generally low, but can be influenced by several factors. Viral load. The amount of HIV virus in an infected person's body affects the risk of transmission. High viral load increases the likelihood of transmission. Oral sores or injuries, open sores or cuts in the mouth or gums can increase the risk of HIV. Transmission, as these can allow the virus to enter the bloodstream. Blood in saliva. Saliva naturally contains a small amount of blood cells, but it's usually in very low concentrations. However, if there is visible blood in saliva due to a cut or injury, the risk of HIV transmission increases. Myths about HIV and kissing. Several myths surrounding HIV and kissing often cause confusion and anxiety. Let's dispel some of these misconceptions. One, myth one, kissing is a common way to transmit HIV. Fact, kissing is not a major mode of HIV transmission. Other activities such as unprotected sexual intercourse, sharing needles, or receiving contaminated blood transfusions pose a significantly higher risk of HIV transmission. One, myth two, French kissing always leads to HIV transmission. Fact, deep kissing can increase the risk slightly, but it's still considered a low risk activity. Other factors such as viral load, oral sores, and blood in saliva play a more significant role in determining the risk of HIV transmission. One, myth three, Kissing a person with HIV will guarantee infection. Fact, HIV transmission through kissing is very rare. Even with open mouth or deep kissing, the risk remains low unless there are open sores, cuts, or visible blood in saliva. While kissing can be a pleasurable and intimate act, it's crucial to understand the low risk of HIV transmission through this activity. Open and honest communication with sexual partners about HIV status and safer sex practices is essential for reducing the risk of transmission.